Hello and welcome to Tushka Training. We're back in Hit Film 2 Ultimate and this is the sixth of our series of elements for HUDs, HUDs, displays, whatever you want to call them. These are uh, individual widgets or gadgets uh, that you can use to build up your displays. Uh, this isn't about the completed shot, this is about the techniques to get some of these little widgets and gadgets. Uh, so uh, today we're going to uh, have a go at uh, spherical grids. Uh, call, I'll, I'll just call it a sphere grid. Um, so first thing we'll do is create a new composite shot we'll call uh, shot container. Um, we don't actually need to create another shot, another uh, another composite shot here, so we can just work straight in the container uh, for now. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new plane. Now, originally I was doing this with grids, but I've been getting a, a lot more accuracy out of um, using atomic particles to create grids. Uh, so uh, we're, we're, we're doing that at the moment. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call this uh, grid uh, horizontal. Now, once you've got your, uh, your your plane set up, you drag down your atomic particle. Open up the atomic particle properties. Go to particle placement, number of particles, um, and uh, we're going to want to bring the y to seven and bump the x right up so that we've got we've got perfect lines here. Um, we're going to go to particle appearance and the size random we're going to bring to zero and the opacity random we're going to bring to zero as well like so so we've got perfect uh perfect lines here like that next thing i'm going to do is create another plane uh, another uh, white plane i'm going to call this grid vertical i'm going to create that there i'm going to pull the atomic particles down onto this one uh, same thing again, particle placement, number of particles. This time we're going to go for 7 on the X, and we're going to bring the Y right up. As you can see, it's already layered with the others, so we've got this perfect, absolutely perfect grid. No no working out of size, it's just absolutely perfect straight off the bat. Uh, we're going to zero out our randoms. Um, we'll be coming back later probably to mess with our uh, sizes um to get the exact the exact flavor that we want uh well the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new grade and um, we'll call this uh spherizer and we're going to go to uh generate we're going to grab our sphere and just put that on the spherizer grade like so um and you can change the radius of the sphere obviously to whatever you like uh now one thing that i do like to do with uh with uh, when when i'm setting up one of these grid spheres is like i say i mess a little bit with the actual um size of the atomic particle lines um, and your particle appearance so we bring this up to 10 here and you can see you're starting to get more definition so we'll bring it up to 25 like so and then we're going to bring up the next particle appearance and we'll bring this up to 25 as well and we're getting a nice defined grid now well the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually make this sphere 3d at the moment it's it looks 3d but it isn't actually 3d so what we're going to do we're not actually going to make it 3D. What we're going to do is we're going to fake the 3D. We're going to put a, a new point in there. We're going to make it a 3D plane. Um, it's a 3D point, but just just change it to the 3D plane anyway. And we're going to rename this point to uh, Rotator Luxfo, and then we're going to bring up the sphere effect over here. So we've got the uh, we're going to open up the position. So we've got the transform from here, and we're going to change that to Rotator there. And then we're going to open the rotator transform up and we're going to add keyframes for all the rotations like so i bring it up to five seconds and we're going to stick the rotations up to one 
here on every axis and when you play it you get this nice rotating effect um and it's, it's quite nice to put those in the center of um, maybe some of the radial lines we, we looked at earlier or some of the rotators or maybe even the, uh, the bulger that we created earlier one of these quite small in this in the center has quite a nice effect to it and you can actually put um light streaks and stuff coming off this uh, and get all kinds of um I, I created one the other day where i actually extruded it a little bit closed the grid down a little bit put light streaks on it it looked very much like a like a disco ball um so this is an interesting effect worth looking into this one uh, in particular works pretty well on uh, hud's displays uh, i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and we'll see you on the next one